you will find, as you look back upon your life, that the moments when you've truly lived are the moments when you've done things in the spirit of love. Loving someone is a reason to stretch beyond our limits, to become more for the sake of the other. It's an all-consuming task, a lifelong endeavor, the journey we've been preparing for all our lives. It is to look into the soul of your beloved and accept what you see. It's the ultimate commitment that challenges us to become all that we are meant to be. Philip and Shakisha, are you ready to begin your journey together as husband and wife? Yeah. Philip and Shakisha, by coming here today, you've taken the initial step in your journey into what will be a wonderful and lasting life together. Understand that a union between two people takes work. A good relationship needs constant nurturing, and a good marriage is one that fosters respect, devoted love, and a willingness to make sacrifices for one another. In the art of marriage, it's the little things that are the big things. It's never being too old to hold hands. It's remembering to say, I love you every day. It's never going to sleep angry with one another or taking each other for granted. It's doing things for one another in the spirit of joy, and it's remembering to laugh together. Most importantly, it's being able to forgive one another. What greater thing is there than for two human souls to feel that they're joined together for life? Now, Philip, I'm going to have you go ahead and repeat after me as you look into Shakisha's beautiful eyes. Shakisha, I take you to be my wife. Shakisha, I take you to be my wife. To love you with all my heart. To love you with all my heart. To share with you all my soul. To share with you all my soul. To grow with you all my days. To grow with you all my days. As long as we both shall live. Philip, I take you to be my husband. Philip, I take you to be my husband. To love you with all my heart. To love you with all my heart. To share with you all my soul. To share with you all my soul. To grow with you all my days. To grow with you all my days. As long as we both shall live. You've heard the promises you've made to one another, and now you'll exchange a visible symbol of those promises. May these rings symbolize your unity with one another. May they give you the strength to honor your commitments to each other, and may they remind you that marriage is not a destination, but a journey. All right, Philip, you're going to go ahead and repeat after me as you place the ring on Shakisha's left hand. Oh, we have to move first. <laughs> Shakisha, I take you to be my wife. Shakisha, I take you to be my wife. With this ring, with this ring I, marry you, I marry you and join my life with yours. And join my life with yours. Accept this ring, Accept this ring. as a sign of my love. And faithfulness, and faithfulness for all the years to come. Forever and ever. <laughs> With this ring. I marry you. I marry you. And join my life with yours. And join my life with you. Accept this ring. Accept this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And faithfulness. And faithfulness. For all the years to come. Forever and ever. Now before I pronounce you husband and wife, there's one last thing that I'd like to do. I want you to go ahead and look into each other's eyes again. And I want you to really focus on how you feel in this moment yeah. and how happy you are. Oh. <laughs> and I want you to en envision your futures together and what they might hold. And though your visions of the future may not be exactly identical, I hope that they are always complementary. And with that said, it is my pleasure by the power vested in me by the state of Nevada to now pronounce you husband and wife. You <laughs> Thank you.